Hi, I'm David Dominey. I'm a chartered horticulturalist. I'm a writer and broadcaster. I work for ITV1 and I present with Philip and Holly on ITV's This Morning and I also present with Alan Titchmarsh on ITV's Love Your Garden. But my passion has always been plants and gardens. You know, over 40 years ago, I was exactly in your position, trying to decide of a career. Now I'm gonna give you my idea of what I think a career in horticulture is. And it's very different from your parents or your teachers or your career advisors or anybody else that's talking because I am a chartered horticulturist. I left school, chose to go into horticulture and I've learnt about plants all my working life. Now the first thing is when I say to people about getting a job in horticulture, they naturally say, it's a gardener, I don't want to be a gardener. And gardener is the wrong term for professional working in horticulture, because a gardener is somebody who at the weekend goes and potters in the greenhouse, cuts the lawn, you know, they grow chilies on the kitchen windowsill. Somebody at home who engages with gardening is a gardener. Whereas professional horticulture has so many different facets. I mean, you wouldn't call a managing director of over a hundred garden centres who handles somewhere in the region of about a thousand members of staff, oh, they're a gardener. And you wouldn't call a landscape architect who designs great swathes of the countryside, oh, and they're a gardener. No, they're a landscape architect. It's a much, much bigger industry. And years ago, when I was 16, I had somebody who'd been in the business for a long time say to me, the job is just right. If somebody wants a job where it's engaging and interesting and having a positive impact on the planet, whether it's low stress and anxiety, regular money and a definite career path, it's great. But if you're the type of person with an entrepreneurial spirit that wants to get into the industry, make all those differences and earn a fortune, those opportunities are there as well. It's a huge industry. If you prefer to work indoors, there's garden design, horticultural journalist, landscape architect, interior landscaper, sales and marketing, floristry, garden centres and garden retail, creative writing, author, broadcaster, scientist, undercover grower, breeder, lecturer, even event management. Working outdoors includes landscaping, amenity parks and gardens, plant growing and production, photography, groundsmanship, tree surgeon, garden maintenance and tree production. So I'm in quite a unique position having spent all of my working life from the moment I left school in horticulture. What was going through my mind 40 odd years back when I was thinking about getting into the industry? Well, for me, what was important at that time was freedom. I wanted to be able to get into a job where I was paid money, which enabled me to get a motorbike, get a car, so I'm not relying on my parents to give me lifts, I'm not relying on, on public transport as well. I wanted that freedom to get out, to earn a bit of money, to be able to take my girlfriend out, all of that type of thing. And horticulture made me a quick start in and was good earning at the beginning. I also wanted respect. I wanted respect from my, my, my peers, other classmates. I didn't want them to think I went into a, a job that, that um, uh, probably was less cool. But working with plants and nature, getting an understanding and a career path is very popular, more popular today than it ever was back then. It's at a point where we all understand the plight of the planet. We're all a lot closer to what's happening with uh, uh, global warming, what's happening to our pollinators. The importance of connecting with nature is so very much more popular. I also wanted a job that was interesting. I did not want to end up in a warehouse. I did not want to end up in an office without any windows. I just wanted to have something that I'd be constantly learning, something that gave me that amazement. I also wanted some job security. I didn't want to go into a career and end up unemployed a couple of weeks later or a year or two later or just when I needed the money most. So choosing horticulture, I know there's always a constant demand for skilled horticulturalists. In fact, in some cases, there is a huge demand at the moment. So it's a good choice for, um, for long-term security. And I also wanted to see a career path, something where I know if I start here, 
there's an option for me to move up, earn more money, gain more responsibility and engage and learn more. I wanted to see a distinctive career path. In horticulture, it's pretty good because you can reach a certain level and comfortably stay there and have an easier life or you can reach further above and earn more and engage more as well. I also wanted to make a difference. I didn't want a job where I was just doing something and at the end of that job, like a treadmill, it was over. I wanted to do something that would have a, a lasting impact and share my knowledge and understanding of plants and nature with that. And I have to say, you'll make your own decision on the careers that you wish to take, but I've worked for over 40 years as a professional horticulturalist and I've not regretted a single day. I'm just saying to you that it's worth taking a look just take a look at some point, some literature leaflets, take a look on a website. There's growcareers.com, Capel Manor College, uh, Warwickshire College Group. There's colleges all over the place with many different courses. Just take a look at that and consider it as a potential career. If you're looking for an active career that gives a great deal of interest, huge opportunities and career path, and of course, the added bonus of working with nature Take a look at horticulture.